bitch all shit boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I'm gonna check out shocking reasons why WWE fired uh Bray Wyatt, Alexa Bliss, Sad, Braun Strowman, Reunion, Wrestling News, brought to you, brought to us by none other than WrestleMania. Um, I really want to get to the you know the bottom of why WWE decided to let go of Bray Wyatt, man. Um, I really do think that you know they they dropped the ball creatively on what he could have been for sure he could have been this generation's undertaker in my opinion i know a lot of people will you know feel some type of way because they hold undertaker to a high standard but i do feel like for this generation on the creepy factor on this this supernatural being in wrestling he definitely could have been there been being close to that caliber of wrestler like character wise if wwe would have just really took time to you know continue to develop who he is as a character and and his motivations you know i think that would have been great so we're gonna check this out quit some more news jeez i'm still reeling from yesterday's news now i was having dinner with my wife yesterday because it was our fifth anniversary okay. and that's when the news dropped that bray wyatt had been released from the wwe i had to tell her look i gotta do this first then we'll continue our dinner this is massive news well she understood well kind of anyway <laughs> let's look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know for today including the real reason why he was released from the wwe Bray was actually creatively frustrated in the WWE when he was set to make his return to television, the reaction from WWE superstars regarding his release, Kurt Angle has turned down AEW, okay. Braun Strowman teases a reunion with Bray Wyatt and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for WWE exclusive lists. Now let's the creatively. intro and get straight into the first story. Now, our first story looks at the insane reason why Bray Wyatt was fired. Now, as I said before, the news was a complete shock to all wrestling fans, as Wyatt was one of the most talented superstars on the roster and he was a three-time world champion, so it kind of seemed unlikely that he would ever be released. But when it was announced via WWE.com yesterday, fans believed that Wyatt may have actually asked for his release and that it was a personal decision on behalf to leave the WWE. But this isn't the that. case. As a number of top sources, including the Wrestling Observer and Fightful, have reported that Wyatt was released due to budget cuts. Now, this isn't the same reason that other budget cuts. Wow. So you cut one of, if not one of your most charismatic characters you have in your company and you cut them because of budget cuts hmm interesting, <laughs> interesting. other wwe superstars were given when they were released why it's release being put down to budget cuts led to more confusion within the wwe yeah, fan base doesn't make sense. why it was a top merchandise seller in the company and it seemed like an incredibly bizarre move for wwe to cut someone that made them so much money of course, it wasn't just wrestling fans that were shocked, as a number of current WWE and former WWE superstars took to social media to share their thoughts on Wyatt. Former WWE superstar Mickey James replied to the WWE's official tweet announcing Wyatt's release by stating, I think what you meant to say was, thank you so much for coming up with such an incredible gimmick time and time again. Mm -hmm. Once so cool and over, we really don't know how to book it right. Mm -hmm. So we just gave it to someone else so we can still make all the money off it and let you go. Facts. Oh my. This is how I feel about this. He created one of the most unique gimmicks we have ever seen in wrestling. Not only once, he did it with the whole the Wyatt family. He repackaged himself into something very unique only for the gimmick to be taken by somebody else butchered not booked correctly and then let go that's if this ain't the tweet that sums up bray wyatt's career i don't know what does well Damn. recently there's a little bit of sauce in that tweet alexa bliss who was working closely with wyatt before his absence from wwe television also tweeted i'm really at a loss for words Thank you so much, Wyndham, for everything that you've done for this company. The most fun I've had is working with you. Such an amazing talent and most kind person. I'm just in shock. 
Unfortunately, a number of fans began to directly blame Alexa for Wyatt's yeah. release, and this forced the former women's champion to make her Twitter account private. WWE legend Mick Foley also made a touching tribute. Yeah, now fans, I don't agree with y'all going after Alexa Bliss because at the end of the day, she's just following orders. This is what Vince and everyone else wanted higher up creatively wise wanted her character to be. We don't agree with it. The majority of fans don't agree with it, but don't blame her because she's not the reason why he got let go. So that's not cool. Tribute to the work of Wyatt in a Twitter post saying, with WWE's release of Bray Wyatt, the company has lost a true visionary and a creative genius. One of the most innovative makers of mayhem pro wrestling has ever seen. He's hoping Bray finds happiness and recreates himself once again in wrestling, in life, or both. A Wyatt being released from the WWE will unfortunately leave a huge void in the WWE roster. Facts. Wyatt seemed to be incredibly popular backstage, and if the social media reaction is anything to go by, he'll be sorely missed. We still can't think of what's going through either Nick Khan or Vince McMahon's mind when they say that they need to release him due to budget cuts. Now we can go under the opinion that WWE has just lost their minds. What do you guys think of the reason why they fired him? Yeah, Let us know in the comments was, down below. A, Next up, Bray Wyatt was creatively frustrated that. in WWE. I don't think they should have released him. You know, uh, I think they should have literally just gave him full control within the guidelines of television, of course, like the you know FCC rules and stuff. But they should have just, you know, just gave him full control. We, a Sean Ross Sapp hosted a special Fightful live stream yesterday discussing the release of Wyatt from WWE. In this stream, Sapp revealed that Wyatt was somewhat frustrated with the WWE creative team. No kidding, as they just sound like a bunch mm -hmm. of buffoons. Facts. Sapp noted that Wyatt would often reject ideas if they didn't fit his vision of how Wyatt wanted his character to go. This is supported by the fact that the finish to the Fiend vs. Randy Orton match at WrestleMania 37 was changed at the last minute. The Fiend was initially planned to win the match, finally ending the rivalry with Orton. However, this was changed at the last minute, no doubt frustrating Wyatt. Sapp added, There were people that told me on Friday before WrestleMania that he was told by people in the match, We got a great idea. And then they did what they did at WrestleMania and everyone was like, mm, Really? Yeah, just doesn't make any sense. Now there is a company- See, that's stupid. That's dumb. That The finish of that match didn't even make sense. He should have won it. He should have won it. I don't. And then they could have went to a different feud. It was so dumb, bro. So everyone that was there for WrestleMania was just like, what the fuck is this? Just the way it ended. Like, bro, it was dumb. It was dumb. Which offers creative freedom to wrestlers. Who knows why it may even put an offer into there and see how it goes. Like, can you imagine him being the leader of the Dark Order faction? Like, what an honor to both Brody and what an mm -hmm. amazing faction AEW could have. Next up, Bray was actually supposed to return soon. Mm -hmm. Following Wyatt's release yesterday, it was reported by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Wyatt was set to return to television earlier this month. Meltzer even stated that creative plans were locked in for Wyatt's return feud. Two pizzas, wings, breadsticks, the big... Yeah, bro, I, I just... I just think they really dropped the ball, bro. They legitimately dropped the ball in the sense of having something so creative and unique let just slip between their fingertips, man. Comment on who Wyatt was going to feud with, he was advertised for the August 9th edition of Raw. So it appears as if that's when WWE were planning on having Wyatt make his grand return to WWE. A number of fans believed that Wyatt would be going to SmackDown to feud with Finn Balor, with some fans believing the Balor vs. Wyatt program would have been one of the matches of the SummerSlam card. However, with Balor now entering a feud with Baron Corbin, that clearly was never the plan. Mm -hmm. Next up, why Bray Wyatt was absent from WWE television following WrestleMania 37. And following Wyatt's loss to Randy Orton at WrestleMania 37, fans have been wondering why he was absent from WWE programming. Well, according to Dave Meltzer, Wyatt was out of action due to medical reasons, but he didn't disclose what these medical reasons were. Meltzer also revealed that Wyatt was finally cleared ahead of his return to TV this month and stated, he had been out for medical reasons and he had just gotten cleared. Then when he got cleared, they evaluated the situation and he was told that due to budgetary reasons that he's being cut. The wow. basic gist is that he's another high contract guy, whether it's because it's concerns over the medical reasons is the real reason or they could not come up with an idea to justify his salary. I don't know which of that it is, but that's a basic deal with him. 
Next up in AX, WWE yeah, bro, Superstar makes his cold. Impact Wrestling debut. Impact Wrestling added yet another former WWE Superstar to the roster last night at their homecoming event. As part of Impact's Mixed Tag Team Tournament, Drama King Matt, formerly known as Aiden English, made his oh, wow. Impact debut teaming with Knockouts champion Diana Perrazzo. The duo were victorious in a number of matches and actually won the final in the tournament in a match against Decay. It'll be interesting to see how the Drama King does in Impact. He had moderate success in the WWE, mainly as part of tag teams, however during this final portion of his WWE career, WWE switched him to a non-wrestling role, a role mm -hmm. which he actually received rave reviews from. I look forward to seeing more of him. Next up, Kurt Angle turns down AEW. A Kurt Angle officially retired from in-ring competition in 2019. Now, Angle's final match was incredibly disappointing, yeah. but even though his match was disappointing, Angle had no plans to return to the ring. Angle even stated that he had offers from both AEW and Impact Wrestling, but he turned them both down, citing that he is in no physical state to wrestle again. Good. Whilst being interviewed by Fightful, Angle revealed- And I mean good in the sense of knowing when to walk away. That's where our favorite wrestlers have the hardest time realizing. If you guys watch The Undertaker, uh, uh, documentary definitely go check it out that was one of the things he was struggling struggling with learning when to say okay i'm done no more one more match no more you know saying last last hurrah i'm done granted kurt angle you know saying his last match uh was not uh <laughs> memorable but we still remember his legacy we still know who Kurt Angle is and what he's done for the wrestling world. So just knowing when to walk away is always the toughest thing for legendary wrestlers. It's always the toughest thing. How many times did Ric Flair ultimately say, I'm done just to be back in the ring one more time. So it's just hard to let it go sometimes. I had AEW, TNA they offered, but I can't do it. I wish I could. My body's too banged up. I'm 52 years old, just trying to live my life now and trying to live it in less pain. Yeah. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm suffering from the career I've had, but I don't regret it. AEW, I think, was a seven-match deal. TNA, I think they were just going to do one match. But I just felt my final matches in the WWE. I knew that I'd lost the step. I wasn't the same as I was in my prime. I didn't like the person I was, the performer I was. So if I can't perform at the level that I was in my prime, I'm mm -hmm. not going to do it anymore. That's why I turned down the offers from AEW and TNA. Respectable. Next up, Braun Strowman teases a reunion it. with Bray Wyatt. And following Wyatt's release yesterday, Wyatt's real-life friend and former WWE superstar Braun Strowman took to Twitter to tease a reunion between the two friends. Braun posted a picture of the two men with the caption, Brother, I'm waiting. Interestingly, both Damn. Braun and Wyatt main evented last year's SummerSlam show, and fast forward a year later, neither one of them in Facts, WWE. Bro. However, WWE has expressed interest in bringing him back. Meltzer would state, they're interested in having Strowman back at a lower price, but who knows what things will happen. I guess he signed up to do a show in Qatar, so he's doing some indies, so he'll get a big payday off that. It'll be interesting to see where Braun ends up, as it was reported that AEW as well as independent companies were interested in bringing mm -hmm. him in, so it looks like the decision is ultimately up to Braun himself. Yeah. And finally, an Owen Hart tribute show in AEW. Now, mm -hmm. final story relates to AEW filing a brand new mm -hmm. trademark. On July 28th, AEW filed for the trademark King of Hearts. This was notable for being the nickname that the legendary Owen Hart used during his WWE career, so it'll be interesting to see what capacity AEW are going to be using the trademark for. Fans are speculating that they'll be running some kind of tribute show for Owen. However, these are just rumors at this point. But there you have it, folks. The wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure yeah, because to that whole Owen Hart situation, I know um, the family, they don't want to have... They, I don't think they still want to have anything to do with uh, with Vince. I know Brett, you know, is, has somewhat buried the hatchet, but still, when it comes to... Owen Hart and his personal family as well. They they're like, nah, don't mention, don't mention, you know, don't mention him, don't nothing, because they they really do. If you've seen that documentary too, they do feel that you know Vince was the you know the main reason of you know Owen Hart's death. So I can understand why they don't mention him or do any tributes. But it would be you know saying interesting if AEW does and they get consent from the family to do that you know it'll be interesting to see so but hey man this this is i don't buy budget cuts that this i would really be surprised if they hit him with the oh we just don't have you uh you know the budget is not you know lucrative enough for us to have you on the roster anymore so we're gonna cut you even though 
if Bray was to come back at any point, he would get a massive pop in front of crowds because people want to see him. Even though his gimmick is not as over as it once was, people would still want to see him. So that budget cut stuff, I think that was pretty trash. Like, if that's the real reason why they let go of Bray, man, that's lame. So, but comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys honestly feel that Bray is going to go to AEW? I know a lot of people are saying it seems like whenever WWE releases people, AEW picks them up. So do you think Bray will go to AEW? And do you think he will get a, be a good fit in AEW? Let me know. Honestly, let me know if you think he would be a good fit in AEW. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.